Hi, this is Bob with RealTVFilms.com. We're here at the Hollywood Billiards in Hollywood, California for the Beverly Hills Shorts Festival. Uh, we've got today with us Sergio Panero, and he was the director and the writer for the procedure. He's going to talk a little bit about it. Sergio. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing terrific, man. Nice to have you here. Thank so, you. Um, so let's start from the beginning. How sure. did you come up with the idea? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, it basically comes out of my love for shows like uh, Twilight Zone, Outer Limits. It's basically, I re, you know, I, I always loved the stories that came out of those shows and, you know, the mystery aspect combined with supernatural elements or science fiction, things like that. And this basically was taking those basic uh, concepts and then adding it on top of that, the sort of edge that horror movies to the, you know, today have, kind of being able to strike that balance because back in the day, you know, the Twilight Zones uh, weren't able to really push, you know, in ways of like, you know, kind of showing things, subject matter that they weren't able to do. Right. So basically trying to, you know, really hit a little bit of everything. Right. Now, horror movies, probably, are, there's different ways to make a horror movie, whether you're going to be blood guts, you're right. going to be scary, suspenseful. What without giving away too much of the movie. Tell us a little bit about what direction you kind of went with. Uh, definitely tried to go less on the blood and guts, much more on the suspense and sort of the, uh, the atmosphere. And, I mean, not to say that there isn't blood and guts. Right. Uh, there <laughs> might be. There might, oh, there, there might, might be. be. Okay, okay. I see um, but... For the most part, it's you know any time it might be used, it was motiv you know definitely motivated out of something that came from directly from the story. It's very uh, and I wanted to ma make sure that the suspense was really uh, and, and the mystery was really the focal point. Now this movie is how long? It's 15 minutes. So it's 15 minutes. Is, is it was it difficult? How long did it take you to to film the whole thing? Uh, it was shot over three days. Uh, three very hard days, um, so and, and that was it. It was two full days and then one 24-hour day that I think ended somewhere around 5 o'clock in the morning the next day. Okay, so now the film gets completed. You've got a final uh, cut of it. And uh, do you just go out and start submitting it to film festivals like this one? How does that whole process happen for a filmmaker? Uh, well, I, you know, I started off, and it is kind of a choice. Do you want to make, because it is a horror film, and sometimes, you know, I've heard they don't really like things with violence, or, you know, they try to be more family-friendly. So I, I hit up a few places that were more, this one being one of them, Beverly Hills Shorts Fest, and trying to hit up some that were not necessarily genre-specific. And... Also, of course, the genre ones, because they'll obviously have right. be friendly toward it. Uh, and it was really exciting to actually be part of this festival because it isn't a genre-specific festival, so it's nice to know that the film has a crossover element where it can appeal to um, not necessarily just horror fans. You know, it can actually, people can watch it and... and just a general film festival that plays all kinds. Now, this is your first film festival submitting a film, is that correct? It is, yes, it okay, is. Okay, now it's, it's got to be exciting because now you got an audience for the first time, correct? It's it's very trippy, to be quite honest. I, you know, it, it hasn't happened yet, but um, I'm kind of awaiting the day it's going to, Saturday it's going to show, and, and it'll be the first time it's really been screened in front of any kind of general. Much of the, of the movie, so sure. people have to come and watch it. Maybe we'll learn more about it after it premieres. Yeah, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but uh, thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. It sounds like a terrific movie, and best of success with it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You bet.